This is what I believe and this is why. Every day I should be praying for our community. Every day I should be saying, hey, if you need a place, come to Thrive, we're the place. And when they say why, I should be able to say because they know how to love people. Every day. There's another scripture. This is Matthew chapter 28. Jesus is talking again, and Jesus says, I'll be with you. As you do this, I will be with you day after day. So as you do this means what? It means I have stuff to do. It means it has to be more than just probably the one day, the one 30-second window. It has to be more than just, oh, it's Pride Week, so let me tell you how great we are. It has to be something we can show day to day. It's work that we do. People get mad when you say it's work. What do you mean it's work? Me and Pooza have for work. We have to work for the paycheck. When it comes to this stuff, we ain't supposed to work. So let me break it down. Love is work. There's a lot of people you ain't want to love. There's a lot of people I don't want to love. They corrupt my nerves. They don't behave the way they should behave. And it aggravates me. If I watch you, hurt her, it's hard for me to love you. Instead, I want to come up to you and say some things. If I watch you betray somebody, it hurts me. It angers me. So yeah, it's work. It is not always easy to love people. It is not always easy to walk into situations wide open. And we talk about how we're supposed to be that. We're supposed to walk in and show everybody love. And you walk in and you're confronted with that or with any other thing. And what does it make you want to do? If I tell the truth <laughs> and I'm all about it, it makes me want to go, girl, go on. <laughs> ain't got time for you. Go lie to somebody else because I ain't got time to hear you. Go tell the story somewhere else. But if I did that yesterday with all the people that came up to tell me their stories, what would happen? You would never hear from them again. Never. So it is work. But what's the promise? I'm with you as you do this. Day after day after day. You know what else that means? If you want to change it from day after day after day after day, it means that. Every day. Every stinking single day. But what we do is, yeah, I know Jesus said he'd be with me every day, but I don't feel like doing that Jesus thing today, so how about let's just drive right on through this really, really quick and get the lunch. <laughs> let's skip all this part, get to the lunch part. Let's go hang out, socialize. Let's do that part. And then there's a world of hurting people. Yesterday opened my eyes. <coughs> Yesterday was the first time that I can remember in the past three years where people would come up and start their conversations with me with hurt. I went to this church. This is what they did. And now I don't trust anybody who calls themselves Christian. That's sad. And it doesn't line up with Scripture. See, Jesus never said, let's divide up in all the denominations that we now have. That ain't in there. It was never, let's all divide up and you be Lutheran and you be Episcopalian and you be Methodist and you be Pentecostal and you be whatever you are. It was never that. It was, let's all be a family. Talking to a friend, we started talking about tribal communities. And we started talking about how tribal communities do two things really well that the rest of us don't do well. They know how to take care of hurting people. When you're going through the grieving process, it's not you alone. It's the whole tribe. They're with you. They support you. They also are really good at loving one another. All the things that we talk about, feeding the hungry, taking care of the sick. In tribal communities, it's not just talk. They do it. Leave that conversation. We're driving. 
And I'm like, hey, you know what? That made me think of. And Sherry's like, what? Why you gotta be thinking? Just be quiet and drive. <laughs> it's why Westerners keep messing up who Jesus is. It's why they can't get it right. Jesus was not about the individualities. Jesus was about the collective. We all gonna do this thing, we're all gonna do this thing together. And when you got pushed to the corners, Jesus would go get you and bring you back in. So it was this tribal mentality, this family mentality. And it's why America sucks at getting Christianity right. Because they want it to be about the person. They want it to be about, oh, it's just me. It's just people who think like me, people that believe like me. And we only have to worry about this group of people. That's not scripture. You're supposed to go get them. And you don't want to love them. Trust me. But you're supposed to go get them. And you're supposed to love them. And you're supposed to say you're doing it wrong. We're supposed to be doing it together. Quit kicking people out. Bring them in. Anybody tired of hearing the same old message? No. We talk about it a lot. You know why we talk about it a lot? Because we're still not doing it. You did it one day. One day. What did you do the day before that? What did we do? All the days before that, who do you talk to about your faith? Who do you try to show love to? Who do you try to be present for? It's work. It's work. But I'm with you. Day after day after day after day. You don't want to get up in the morning and do it. Holy Spirit, right there. Come on, get up. I got this. We're going to do this one more time. Come on. Get up. You know you hear that a lot. Get up. <laughs> Last week was Easter. Now I'm just going a little bit sacrilegious. Ready? If you're Jesus and you're finally in the tomb and you're finally getting a break and a rest. Because then people be working your nerves. <laughs> heal me. Heal me. Make me better. <laughs> Make so and so act right. I'm like, let's just stay in here a little bit longer. <laughs> it's quiet in here. But in the 80s, there was an artist named Carmen. Does anybody know Carmen from the 80s, 90s, early 90s? Carmen had a song called The Champion. And in that song, Carmen takes the, the story of the resurrection and turns it into a boxing match. So you have from crucifixion to the resurrection, and it's a boxing match. So round one. The blows are being thrown. Round two, round three, blah, blah, blah. And you get all the way. And then finally, Jesus hits the mat. And in the song, this side over here is happy. And they celebrate because Jesus done hit the mat. And they're like, there ain't no way he's coming back from that. He's tired. He's worn out. And we beat him pretty good. And then in the song, instead of counting the way a boxing match does count, because in a boxing match, it's one, two. It goes the other way. And God acts as the referee in the song. So God starts counting. Ten. Nine. Going down. This son's having a fit. Why he counting wrong? <laughs> make, make the referee count right. Five. Four. And over here they're like, uh-oh, he's twitching. He's moving. His eyes are opening. Two. Somebody stop it. One. He's up! The alarm clock went off and he got up and he came out and what did he start doing? Immediately. He went and found all the people that had been chickens and had ran and hid and said, peace. No matter what the world throws at you, it ain't over. As long as you keep answering when spirit says, long clock, get up. Let's do it again. Let's go love some people again. And this time, how about we do it the way it's meant to be done? Daily. Not just on your special service days. Christmas, Easter, and apparently Pride. <laughs> Not just on those days. Every day of your life. 
every day, every moment, someone should be able to walk up to you and say, I'm a member of this place, and this is how they hurt me. And you should be able to answer with, okay, I don't know what version of holy that is, but let me tell you what I know to be true. Jesus calls us all, and Jesus loves us all. Every day, you should be able to promote, to talk about this love that changes everything. Not just one time a year. And if you're not even capable of talking about it in real ways, one time a year, talk with people who are able to talk about their faith. Learn from them. Do it together. Some people, that's the best way to learn. Side by side, let's go. Come on. If you hung out with Terry yesterday, Terry was really good at making the small talk, and then when they would ask Terry something that was, Terry's like, whoa, wait. <laughs> Terry would try for a second, and then if she felt like she needed to, Terry would be like, that's our pastor, her name Christy. <laughs> it was one of them, tag you it. <laughs> And some other people did that yesterday. If they were like having a conversation and they felt like, uh-oh, I'm not sure about this part, they would go get somebody. They would go get somebody that they thought would know the answer. And they'd bring them over. Now some of our introverts, they don't like talking at all. So the people would walk up to them and be like, what's MCC about? And the introvert would be like, mm-mm. What y'all doing, Dirt? In traffic? <laughs> yeah, Travis was real good about. Would you like some water? <laughs> Did you see the dog watering bowl? <laughs> oh look, the queen we know is on stage. <laughs> There's like all these things that you would see the people who weren't comfortable, and it's okay not to be comfortable, y'all. That's not the point. The point is, you are given moments, you are given those 30 seconds, you are giving a minute to five minutes, and it's not just on Pride Day. These opportunities happen daily. So daily, you have a chance to let your love light shine, and to be able to say, holy cause all of us. I don't know what they smoking. I don't know why they think you're less than, but trust me, it says all of us are beautifully, wonderfully made. All of us. Not just Episcopalians or Methodists or Lutherans or whoever. Everybody. And it's a rainbow. It ain't just white folk. It ain't just brown folk. Everybody. We're all perfect in the eyes of holy. We were made to be worshipers. We were made to be people who do share our love. We were made to do it as a community. Everybody together. And we're the ones that keep saying no. We're the ones that keep getting in our own way. The challenge is, if you want to change things, if you want to make it different, you can't just speak up on Pride Day or Pride Week. It has to be a daily commitment. And you can be sure that the Spirit of Jesus is with you every single day. How do I know? Because it said so. Is it always easy? No. But the pride slogan this year, pride without walls, you know how you destroy walls? Brick by brick. Brick by brick. So every time they put one up to say you don't belong here, you go to work on it. You remove it. No matter the obstacles in our way, your spirit calls. And we come anyway. Because we belong here. We belong. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Every day of your life, you belong. And every day of your life is a testimony. Don't waste it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This one is for Kay. Kay requested this one. And as this one says, look out. Here we come. 
Everybody say it. Amen. Amen.